Now Bubbler has created a tutorial on creating a basic booking system where you could select a coach such as Ali or Kelly, then click a calendar and then request appointments at different hours of the day. I had not gone over one detail, which was to allow Ali or Kelly to only be booked at their availabilities. So that if you select Ali, you cannot just book at any hour of the day, for example, 1 a.m. when they're sleeping, but only request appointments at 10 a.m. or whenever Ali says that he's available on a certain day and hour. So I'm going to go over this in this video. There's a couple of ways to do this. I go over what I think is the simplest way. We first start off with a database. So as you probably saw in the last video, we just had coaches such as Ali or Kelly, which have an image and name and a subject. So Kelly engineering and the image. And then next we have the day hour. What this means is that, for example, you could have Ali associated with one day hour and they're saying that on Monday, they're available on the following hours, for example, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m. And then you have another row in this table where Ali is available on Tuesday at another hour or hours. And for every day of the week, they might have available hours. And then Kelly might also have a row in this table just for Wednesday with her availabilities on Wednesday and Thursday. So these are linked here to option sets. Just to look at the option sets here, we went over to hours and we added all hours from 0 to 11 p.m. And then we also have all the days from day 1 to 6, where 0 is Sunday. We also gave days a name. So 1 stands for Monday and 6 for Saturday. We went for 0 for Sunday because that's how Bubbles calendar and extract day functionality works. More on that later. Okay, and then we have appointments. So when we then ask Kelly for availability at a certain time that she's available. We create a new appointment. She can still choose to not accept it because she doesn't like the student, for example. And then we have the coach for that appointment, the date and the hour, and perhaps the description or name where you outline what you want to have the one-on-one -on -one coaching on. Okay, then let's look at the page setup. So at the top, we just have a repeating group of coaches. We just search for all coaches in the database. And then here we have a group type coach, which expects a coach and a calendar. So we want the calendar only show appointments of that one coach and not of all coaches. So therefore the group around it is type coach. Whenever we click a coach here, this might be your front page. We go over to that calendar and display just that coach we clicked in that group. This could of course also be a group on a different page. So you could also use navigation, go to page and send the coach over to the page with that calendar. The calendar just shows all appointments of that coach, the parent group's coach. Okay, then we have two different functionalities you might have seen here. This is just for Ali to set his hours on the different days of the week. And then this would be not for Ali, but for people booking Ali to request appointments at certain hours. So let's go over the left side first. So we just have a group here. And then in this group, Ali can select a day. So any of the days. To do this, we just select get an option and then all options, so all days. And then we want to display the current options day and name. The display would be one, two, three, four, but of course, day and name, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is easier for users to understand. And then what we want to do is we want to create new rows in the database for every day. So you have one row for Monday saying the hours are 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., one for Tuesday saying 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. To do this, we use a workflow here, which when the dropdown A's value is changed, we create a new day hour for that coach. So Ali creates a new row just for Monday, the dropdown's value, but only if we've not got a row yet for Monday. So only when search for day hours of Ali with Monday is empty. Otherwise, we don't want to create that row, but we want to edit the row when we say that we're available at a certain hour or not at another hour. Okay, and then next what we have is here is the all hours, and then we have an add button. So here we're displaying the hour such as 11 a.m. and we want Ali to be able to click add so that Ali can add, uh, add 11 a.m. to his Monday schedule or remove 10 a.m. from his 
schedule. So we see two options, right? Add and remove. So let's first go over the add workflow. We only want to add. We only want to add uh, the 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. We only want to add 11 a.m. to Monday if there's no day hour yet with Ali of Monday whose hours contains current sales hours. So only if it doesn't contain 11 a.m. yet, we want to then edit that row of Monday Ali to then say, okay, 11 a.m. is an availability. And in the other case where the day hours of Ali with Monday already contains 10 a.m. as we saw here, 10 a.m. can be removed, not added. Then in that case, we want to modify Ali's Monday to remove 10 a.m. from the list of hours. Okay, and just have a quick look at it. So where Ali, and we have, for example, Wednesday, and then immediately bubble, if we've not created a Wednesday row for Ali yet, would create it. And then if we click add for a certain hour, like 3 p.m., it would then create it for 3 p.m., so add it to Wednesday's list of hours for Ali. And then if someone in the calendar user clicks Wednesday, they will then be able to request an appointment at 3. Okay, let's look at the requesting part. So part on the right. So this is a group expecting a date. Why? Because when we click the calendar, we want to see a date over here. So if the user clicks a certain date, they want to be able to book, for example, for Wednesday. So we have a workflow here. We click the empty box when a calendar day's day is clicked. So when calendar A's day is clicked, we want to display in the group date this calendar's current day. So when we click Wednesday 17th, we see Wednesday 17th. Okay, then we can show here which coach we actually want to book, the group coaches coach. We set that coach whenever we click the card here, we set it to be Ali. And then we want the date and we want to show the hours, but we don't want to show any hours, just the hours where Ali is available. To do this, we search for all day hours with Ali, but only with a certain day. So when we click Wednesday, we only want to see Ali's Wednesday availability, only the 3 p.m. Whereas if we click another day, like Thursday, and perhaps before Ali has said that they're only available at a certain time on Thursday, and then the user then clicks Thursday, we have other hours that we can request. So to do this, we search for all day hours of Ali on the day that is clicked and display of that the hours. To do that, we first uh, need to find the right day. So we take all days in the option set day. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we do item number and then we do parent group state extract day. So this group has a date and this date is filled whenever we click the calendar, we fill this group with a date, such as in this example, Jan 19. And then what Bubble does using the extract date functionality is uh, extract day functionality is it takes the day from that date. So if the day is Wednesday, we show Wednesday. And before that, Ali had selected his availability on Wednesday, which hours he is available on, or Thursday. And so we only want to show the hours which Ali has said previously on that day, I'm available on those hours. So therefore, we take only of all option sets the item whose day is exactly the same as the day we clicked. So. Wednesday, for example, is day three of the week, so we only want to show the day hours of day three of the week. Okay, and then when we click request, what we want to do is we just create a new appointment with the coach Ali on that date with that hour of the repeating group. Okay, and that's already it. So this also allows us to go over to Kelly. When we click Kelly, Kelly is now saved along with the calendar. Then Kelly can also say that on Whatever Friday she's available at 
2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Then if a user clicks on any Friday, doesn't matter which, they will always see just the hours 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. But if they click request, then they can only create an appointment actually on this date. Because when we click the date, we're actually saving the entire date, not only the day of the week. And this then allows Kelly to accept or deny appointment requests users have made. So I hope this video helps. For more guides on bubble, check tiplister.com. And I hope you will also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.